Hey guys, Mao here for Unbox Everything, and today we're gonna be diving a little bit deeper into the Huawei App Gallery. So recently, I reviewed the Huawei Y7A. You can check out my review to this in the link popping up in the corner. You can click that so you can know more about this phone. But today we're gonna be diving into the Huawei App Gallery. As many of you know, the Huawei phones now don't ship with Google Play services like the Google Play Store, but it comes with Huawei's very own app gallery so this has grown to be the third largest app store um, for mobile and it's got almost all of the apps that you could need available so people often ask about it you know can i get all of my apps on the huawei app gallery and the answer is i think they said around 90 percent of the apps that most people use can be found on the huawei app gallery or downloaded and usable on your huawei device so today we're going to be talking more about that about what you can get and I'll show you how you can get them as well. And more than that, I wanted to check out if it's good for students who want to, you know, get a, a phone that's affordable that they can use for their online classes and everything that students use their phones for, everything that they would love to do on their phone, including online classes, all that stuff, even during their breaks, games, all that. We'll be checking that out today. So let's get into it. So right here, we're going to be exploring the Huawei app gallery, which you'll find right here, where you will get most of your apps. But we're also going to be talking about the Petal Search, which is something new that Huawei has, where you can find even more apps to download. And it even has this widget right here where you can easily search for anything and find it super quickly. I'll get into that a little bit later. But again, um, with Huawei, you don't need to worry about not having certain Google apps because some of them actually still do work. Like under email here you can add your gmail account so you don't need the gmail app you can access your gmail directly from the huawei email app and for other things such as youtube or google drive you can still access it through the huawei internet um, app so here you can go to google you can head over to google drive so you can access your google drive from here and also youtube directly from the browser and for things like YouTube, you can even um, just pin it to your home screen, clicking add to home screen. And then you're gonna have YouTube right there for you to access anytime you want. So Google Apps are still um, accessible and usable on your Huawei device. But now we're gonna take a look at the Huawei App Gallery and the Petal Search to see how you can get the apps that you need, especially for students who are doing online learning today. So when we launch the Huawei App Gallery, right up front you've got a whole bunch of apps that are recommended for you and it's got a lot of features like categories where you can quickly search for games, business, photos, videos, sports, health, all that stuff so you can easily find what kind of apps you are searching for. It also shows you top apps which people are getting. So these are the top ones. As you can see, it's got games like Mobile Legends, Free Fire, Cut the Rope, you got apps like TikTok, share it, PixArt, everything that you would need. And under this tab, we've got even more features like rewards that you can um, earn from downloading apps, gives you gifts, coupons, a lot of good stuff. Again, here are the coupons, so you can see your coupons and vouchers there. And there's also a wish list for apps that you can't find yet on the Huawei app gallery that you would like to see there. You can type it into the wish list and Huawei will try their best to add it there. As you can see, it's already added a few things like the VLC Remote, Candy Crush Saga, and Spotify as well. So it really does work. So that is the simple simplicity of the Huawei App Gallery. So now let's see how to download some apps. So for students, one important app that they would need is Google Classroom. So you can simply search for it in the Huawei App Gallery and it comes up here. All you gotta do is click open, then you want to go to the classroom. So once you're signed into your Google account on Google Classroom, all you got to do is click the three dots up here and then click add to desktop. Now it's going to add it to your home screen. Super simple. And now you've got it on your home screen right there and you can use Google Classroom on your Huawei phone. Now the next thing you'd probably need for your online classes is Google Meet. So for Google Meet, we are going to be doing the exact same thing and I just want to demonstrate it for you again so that you can see how easy it is. So I searched it in the search bar and it comes up right away and we click open. Then when you've got your meeting code, you're just going to put it in and you're going to start the meeting. Um, 
and you're just going to allow all of the permissions to use the camera and the microphone and you'll be able to start your meeting and as well you can just click the three buttons or the three dots up there at the desktop and you will have it right on your home screen as well so as you can see you're getting ready to do your online learning now for some people who don't use google meet they might use zoom which um, a lot of us use zoom not just for online class but also hanging out with your friends and catching up online so to download zoom we're again going to go into the app gallery we are simply going to search for zoom now it comes up here zoom official app and just click the word get it's going to open it up in the browser and you want to click download from zoom to so click that and it's gonna download so let's open our notifications and we'll see it downloading over there let's just wait for that so once it's done downloading you just want to allow it to install and just like that you're gonna click install and now it is done so now we've got zoom installed just like that you've got zoom on your phone so as you can see it's so easy to install all of these apps just like any other app store so another app you might be wondering about so another so another app you might be wondering about for your online learning is quipper wondering if it works on a huawei device and the answer is yes so how you get quipper is you just go into any third party um app store and you're simply gonna search for quipper when you see it there just click install okay so now that it's done downloading we just click install and click done and again as we can see now we've got quipper which of course is one of the new top educational apps out there it's now here on our home screen that we can access super easily the next thing i'm going to show you how to download is one that i use a lot which is microsoft teams so how we're going to do this is we're going to go into the app gallery again we're simply going to search for Microsoft Teams and then now we're going to see it pop up over here and it says results from Petal Search. So that's again um, something that Petal Search does. You can search it even from, you know, using the actual Petal Search or the widget here super quickly or even through the app gallery you can see results from Petal Search. So we're going to click get and it links you right away to where you can download Microsoft Teams. So we're just gonna click download APK. All right, it's done. So we just click that. And then we're gonna click install. And now as you see, we've got Microsoft Teams up there. So we can see all of our apps that we've done so far that's gonna help with your online learning and whatever productivity you need to do on your phone. And lastly, the app that I wanna show you how to download is canvas studio so this is another app that's good for education and for students so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the petal search so you can either do it through the widget by tapping that or you can actually go into the actual petal search so same thing from the widget or from the app and now we are just going to search for canvas student right away you can see it is already searching in the app tab of course there's all there's web in app there's images like any other search engine but here it's specifically got um, a tab for apps and you see it right there so we'll click install it took us straight to the download page and there we go again we're just gonna click install and it's gonna install and once it's done you will see it appear again on your home screen canvas student so here is where we can get in and start using it, find my school, and you can start with all that. So those are some of the apps that I think are very useful for online learning or any of that kind of productivity, especially for students nowadays. But what about students when they're taking their breaks, when they're just hanging out um, and not actually in class or doing homework? So one of the ways that they would probably want to relax is by playing some mobile games so i just want to show you a few of those right now again you can get games like mobile legends or maybe a candy crush if you need a simple time waster but one of the ones that i want to talk about is this game right here called free fire by garena so this is a really cool game 
So this is a really, really fun game. As you can see, it's got really, really great graphics and it is running really well on the Huawei Y7A. So no need to worry about any lag when you're playing this game um, on your Huawei device. Really cool. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about this game is because Huawei actually does have a promo going for it right now. So right now, Free Fire's got a promo called Double the Prizes Just For You. And it's super simple. If you download the app, you've got a chance to win some prizes. You can win some load, you can win some phones, some smartwatches. Again, you will claim your prize here and you can see exactly what you can win, like the Huawei Watch GT2, a Huawei P40 Pro, a Huawei Nova 7 SE, and a whole bunch of other things that you can win. It's that simple. All you gotta do is download the game, open it, and you'll be able to get a chance to win one of these prizes. But you can also claim a 50 peso gift pack right now. So you can just click it, claim it after you download it, and you will get that free gift pack. So this double prizes just for you is available right now and will be running until December 20. So you want to make sure that you get that right now if you're into games like Free Fire. I really highly recommend you download this game. And if you want to get this promo code, you can just scan the QR code on the screen or I will leave the link in the description as well. So there you have it. That's pretty much just some of the apps that I wanted to show you how to download, especially for your online learning for all you online students right now. So you can see how simple it is to get all of those through the Huawei App Gallery and the Petal Search. And of course, you can still get all your apps like Facebook and Instagram, everything that you would need, TikTok, Snapchat, you can get it and it'll work on your Huawei device. So that's it for the Huawei App Gallery. I hope that this video was helpful for you to know how to get all of your apps on your Huawei device. Again, if you want to check out my review for the Huawei Y7A, you can check that out in the link in the description. I'll also leave links to the Lazada and Shopee store where you can pick this up for yourself. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the video and found it valuable. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet for more weekly videos just like this one. And as always, I will see you back here next time as I continue to unbox everything. Shh.